You're looking at the images of what is known as Bloody Sunday. Demonstrators on a peaceful march for voting rights in Selma, Alabama, were confronted by police who beat and forced people to retreat back across the Edmund Pettus Bridge. March 7th will mark the 55th anniversary of Bloody Sunday. Two of the architects were Atlantans, Reverend Hosea Williams and Congressman John Lewis. John Lewis, who just celebrated his 80th birthday, is a profile of courage yesterday and today. There is in each of us a dream. Growing up in rural Alabama, 50 miles from Montgomery, I didn't like what I saw, and we had to change that. For young John Robert Lewis, the dream inside him would empower him with vision to see beyond unspeakable horrors of present and past, to see the future, to challenge his times and change history. This tender-hearted and resourceful child, born on a farm in 1940, who everyone called Preacher. Me working in the field, my mother would say, boy, you're falling behind, you need to catch up. And I said, this is hard work. And she would say, boy, hard work never killed anybody. I said, well, it's about to kill me. So I learned to work hard and I've been trying to keep up. And at 15, the dream inside John Lewis ignited into a lifelong life force as he watched the news of the Montgomery bus boycott, feeding on the revolutionary ideas and ideals of Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King Jr. changed his life. Rosa Parks and Dr. King taught me how to get involved. They inspired me. They helped to make me the person that I am today. Young John Lewis. This is the John Lewis who, with Dr. King and four others, organized the March on Washington, August 28, 1963. One of the dreamers on those steps in front of Lincoln. Brother John Lewis. The youngest speaker that day, 23 years old. I saw the sea of humanity, and I just said to myself, this is it, I must give it all I have. We do not want our freedom gradually, but we want to be free now. <laughs> we shall splinter the segregated South into a thousand pieces and put them together in the image of God and democracy. We must say, wake up, America, wake up. Does the dream serve you, or do you serve the dream? Your vote is precious, almost sacred. It is the most powerful non-violent tool we have to create a more perfect union. Don't be so quiet. You too can bring about a non-violent revolution. In generations from now, when parents teach their children what is meant by courage, the story of John Lewis will come to mind. An American who knew the change could not wait for some other person or some other time. Congressman Lewis revealed recently he is battling pancreatic cancer. Our thoughts and prayers are with him. John Lewis, one man who had the courage to say enough.